The markers in Articulate Storyline 360 let you add interactivity to your slides in just a few minutes. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to add interactive markers to a map of Washington, D.C., and then customize the markers using some built-in tools. In this example, we have an image where we've placed some interactive markers on top of the image. Now, you'll notice that these markers have a subtle animation, and that animation just lets me know there's something that I should click on or, or look at. And in this case, when I roll over the marker, I can see a title, and when I click, this particular marker is going to have some text. When I come over to this marker and click, you'll notice that this marker has some text and a picture. And when I come over to this one, you'll notice that the marker has a video. So as you can see, you can add different types of media to your markers, text, pictures, videos. The other thing I'll point out on the markers is in this particular example, we have the marker and then there's this area where the label and the label drops down from the bottom. The other thing to notice is that the different labels, right, the label part of the marker, depending on where the marker is placed, the label can be repositioned. So you have some freedom to position the labels based on the layout that works best for you and your content. So if we look at this next slide, this is going to be the practice activity that we work on. So a few things to point out real quick. Take a look at these two markers. We have this one, and then there's this one. They both have different icons. This one has a gavel, and this one has a video. You should also notice that this one has no animation around it, and this one has a subtle animation. So we'll learn how to work with animations too. When I roll over this marker, everything opens up all at once. So you can see that everything opens based on a rollover trigger. And when I roll away or hover off of this, everything automatically closes. Now in this case, I can click and it opens up the video and I can click again and it closes the video. So this one auto opens and this one is dependent on a click. Again, these are just basic options that are built in and you'll learn how to do that in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and start to build this interaction. 